The gradient at any point on a curve is found by finding the gradient of the tangent at that point. These tangents have a positive gradient. These tangents have a negative gradient. And between the two are horizontal tangents which have a gradient equal to zero. And it is the point at which the gradient is zero that gives the turning point. Differentiating the cubic equation gives the derivative, which is the rate of change of the function at a point, equivalent to the gradient of a tangent drawn at a point. Each term of the cubic equation is of the form ax to the power of n. To differentiate, multiply the power of x by the constant a to obtain a n. Then decrease the power of x by 1. Applying this rule to the terms in the cubic equation, starting with 2x cubed. 2 times 3 gives 6. And decreasing the power of x by 1 gives x squared. So the differentiation of the first term is 6x squared. The second term in the equation is 5x squared. Multiplying the 5 and the 2 gives 10. And decreasing the power of x gives x to the power of 1, which is the same as x. So the differentiation of the second term is 10x. The third term is minus x, which can be thought of as y equal to minus 1 x to the power of 1. Multiplying the power by the constant, 1 times minus 1, gives minus 1. Decreasing the power by 1 gives 0, since anything to the power of 0 is 1. The result is minus 1. So the differentiation of the third term is minus 1. Finally, the fourth term is minus 6. y equal to minus 6 can be thought of as y equal to minus 6x to the power of 0 since anything to the power of zero is always one. Multiplying the constant minus six by the power naught gives naught. Therefore, there is no need to go any further. The turning points are when the gradient is zero. So equate the differentiated equation to zero. To solve this quadratic equation, we use the quadratic formula, since the solutions are clearly not integers. Comparing the two quadratic equations shows that a equals 6, b equals 10, and c equals minus 1. Substituting the values of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula to obtain the result given. Evaluating the bracket gives minus 24. Now multiply this bracket by minus 1 to give 24. Adding gives the square root of 124 splitting up the positive and negative values of the square root gives one value as x equal to 0.09462 which is 0.095 to three decimal places. Evaluating the second square root expression gives minus 1.761 to three decimal places. Substituting the first value of x into the cubic equation to find y the nesting of the brackets ensures the calculations are worked out in the correct order. y equals minus 6.048 to three decimal places, giving one of the turning points, which can now be written to two decimal places. Substituting the second value of x into the cubic equation, and again nesting the brackets, to obtain y equal to 0.344 to three decimal places and the turning point to three decimal places. Finally, the two turning points are given to two decimal places as required. This graph of the cubic equation drawn using a spreadsheet may be of interest. The points of intersection of the curve with the axes were calculated in a previous video, reference of which is given in the description.